database and database management systems, the traditional file processing and database approach. The name itself implies that traditional file processing stores and processes data in a traditional file, which means that these data were stored in a plain text. The file was independent to one another and owned by individual users within the organization. If another user wants to have access to the file that belongs to other user, the file must be duplicated. Individual users or functional area in the organization can create and process its own file in a traditional file processing system. Because of this, the only way to integrate other file to the file that the user owned is by creating individual program for each file format. The disadvantage of a traditional file processing system are the following. 1. Program data dependence, which means that data within the file is formatted for a specific program. The program will not function properly if a new file or data format is introduced into it. This leads to the limited data sharing. Other functional area users copy the original file that results to the duplication of data. Because of the duplication of data, the storage spaces increases exponentially. It is harder to create systems in a flat file. Because the program must use several file format, the program become complex and will result to lengthy development time. Since every file format in this approach will have different program to manage data and information, the organization produces many program. While the number of program grow, an excessive program maintenance will hinder the creation of efficient and manageable system. So why database approach? Database is an organized collection of logical related data. The main component of a database approach is the database management system, which is also called the database engine. Database approach is the answer to the limitation manifested by the traditional filing approach. A well-structured database establishes the relationships between entities that exist in organization data so that desired information can be retrieved. A database that represents data as a collection of tables in which all data relationships are represented by common values and related table are called relational database. Database management system is a software that is used to create, manipulate, maintain organizational data, and provide controlled access to users of databases. DBMS is responsible for the following. Data definition, which means that DBMS provides a way to define and build databases. It provides description to the component within the database. Data manipulation, it provides facility to create, modify, update, and retrieve data from the database. This first two responsibility of DBMS is possible because of the Structured Query Language or SQL or SQL that is commonly bundled together with the DBMS. According to ANSI or American National Standards Institute, SQL is a standard language for relational database management systems. Commands and queries in SQL can be classified in three types. DDL or Data Definition Language, Data Manipulation Language, and Data Control Language. Another responsibility of your DBMS is Query Execution. Here, retrieving data with parameters in the database is at place. Data Integrity means that it ensures that the data information in the database are well structured. Data Security means 
constraint and security to the database is enforced by your DBMS. Provides data evidence for the audit trail of the changes in data and information and concurrency. DBMS supports the multi-user access at the same time. DBMS allow data independence or the separation of data from the application programs that uses the data. This diagram shows that users should only be able to communicate in the database through an information system. The information system requests data from the database through a DBMS and the DBMS will respond to the requested data by the IS. Within this process, there are constraints or rule that cannot be violated by database users because the user can only have their respective user view or the logical description of some portion of the database that is required by a user to perform the task. Of course, there are additional costs and risks when implementing database approach. An organization that introduces new approach will need or experience some costs and risks such as 1. The new specialized personnel. Organization needs to hire people who knows about the technology. This commonly leads to the establishment of new organizational unit for administering information technology. Aside from the new personnel, additional management costs should be expected. And as we all know, introduction of new technology will give the organization some degree of complexity. Next is conversion cost. Because there will be additional costs in processing the needed information in terms of acquisition of technology and expertise, this adds up in the organization conversion cost. Need for explicit backup and recovery. The organization needs to ensure the availability of data at all time. So securing it and making a backup and recovery strategy is a must. Organizational conflict. The introduction of technology will give a positive and negative effect to the productivity of people within the organization. If the user of technology experiences a huge decline in his productivity, the user will be reluctant to use the technology and this will trigger conflicts within the organization. To sum it up from what has been said, the database approach gives the following advantages. Program data independence, planned data redundancy, improved data consistency, increased productivity of application development, improved data sharing, enforcement of standards, improved data quality, improved data accessibility and responsiveness, Reduce program maintenance and improve decision support.